Good day, everyone. I am Johan Senpo, and today I'll be talking to you about representation of gold and silver in the Bible. Oh, first and foremost, what is gold? Gold is a precious metal, often found in or around volcanoes, which are formed under the right circumstances. Gold is then refined under fire and smelted to its precious state, which has been connected with symbols of wealth ever since ancient times. As we can see through the gold's refining process, God will try us Christians under fire to purify us to be more like a 24 karat gold piece. Gold is also known as one of the oldest measures of wealth. In 1 Kings 10.21, it is stated that King Solomon had all these vessels made out of gold. In Genesis 41.42-43, the fire of Egypt gave a signet ring made out of gold to Joseph to signify that he would be second in command of all. In this story, we can see that gold is also used as a measurement of trade throughout the world. Mansa Musa, known as the richest man in the world in history, was so rich in gold, he crashed the market of Egypt on this pilgrimage to Mecca. As we can see, in history and in the Bible, gold is known as a very precious metal. So now that we have discussed gold, let's move on to silver. Silver is a very precious metal, akin to gold. Though appraised less by many people, it doesn't make it any less shiny or less insignificant in this world of monetary value. It's been used throughout history as a trade item with China, where the Chinese emperors only accepted hails of gold as their trading units with the West. In Psalm 12, 6, the Bible mentions that the word of God is akin to silver, which could mean that the word of God is as shiny and as valuable as silver. Well, it is mentioned that the heavenly kingdom of God has roads paved with gold and mansions made with silver. This signifies and shows the opulence and the grandeur of God's celestial kingdom. It shows that God does not need to worry about costs of these minerals, for he could make them with the snap of his finger. As we conclude, we can see that we are like gold and silver in the eyes of God. We are tested by flames to see if we are worthy of rewards in heaven. So we must as Christians continue doing good works, not to be saved, for we are only saved by grace, but to be rewarded in heaven. May we be given in crown for the good works we have done in heaven, just to show that we have not worked in vain in the name of the Lord. Thank you for watching. Uh, may God bless you.